the Go Berserk with Email podcast with Navy nuclear engineer turned email software developer, Troy Broussard. So calm. I'm pissed off, but I'm telling this because I am teaching you how to think differently and how to test differently. So patient. And Ben, that's put a half a million dollars into this company too, is being told that nobody can find the goddamn bug. So charitable. I'm going to start paying bounties every time somebody finds a bug. We're going to deduct $10 that week. So trusting. Do not assume that anything works. Assume that nothing works. And so sweet. It makes sugar taste just like salt. I want to play into the sexiness of marketing automation, but I also want to slap the complexity of it. The Go Berserk with Email podcast begins now. Now, Troy, I, I got to tell you, man, I know that you want to tell us everything you know, but can you can you tighten it up? Because last episode took a lot out of me. I mean, that was a, a big one. So what what do you have for us today? Yeah, and what more can I do? I even sang for you on the last episode. <laughs> I mean, come on, Jonathan. I What else can I do, man? Dude, I need it in 30 seconds and I need to be able to swipe it with my thumb. If not, I can't pay attention. There you go. Yeah, well... Don't know what you're to fired. <laughs> you failed the marshmallow test. No marshmallow for you. Come on. Come on. So what do you have for us today, brother? You know, it was really kind of fun. I got this uh, email from one of the co-owners. Uh, John Wood sent me this email from Reddit. And it was a thread up on Reddit. And it was about this guy that was just whining and moaning about how email is so expensive and how he tried all these different platforms and they're all a couple hundred bucks a month. And, you know, what's the point of it? Why the heck can you go to Amazon SES and only send, you know, the same amount of emails and it only costs, you know, $25 or 20 bucks a month or something. So why do all these platforms charge a couple hundred bucks? And, you know, and there was this big long thread and it was really f- kind of fun to just troll through the the commentary of it. And as an email service provider, I'm going to take a very contrarian stance. And I'm going to beg the question of why the hell is email so cheap? Mm. Why is it so inexpensive? <laughs> yeah. Why is email, not email service providers, but why is sending email so affordable. Why is it so inexpensive, right? And everybody says, well, it's not. It's not. Look, I got to pay $200 for this platform every month. It's not cheap at all. It's really interesting to see the delusionary vision of marketers from the real world. Everywhere else in the real world, things cost a lot of money. And you've got to be profitable with them. If you open up a restaurant and you want to do brick oven pizzas, that brick oven pizza oven that you've got to set up to cook to, you know, 1600 degrees Fahrenheit and and be certified by the health department and inspected and all that, that might be a $200,000 restaurant to get off the ground. And there's extensive amount of cost and time and development in everything in the real world. But when you get into the entrepreneurial space, people have this delusion that everything should be cheap and everything should be free. Except for them. Except for them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they still want to charge 500 yeah, an yeah, hour, right. Though, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's funny how that works. It's some democratic math going on there or something. I don't know, man. We're in election time. I got, I got to troll a Democrat once in a while, Jonathan. Woke math. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the thing. I will make this argument with anybody that the best thing that you could do is pay twice as much for the email as you're paying right now. If you pay more, the first thing that you're going to do is actually pay a little more attention to what you're doing. When it's free, when it's cheap, you give it no value, you give it no effort, you give it no attention, and you place no value on it. So, You don't feel like it needs to be something you put a bunch of effort or extensive study into. It's just an email. Who cares? Well, if every email costs you $10, this is funny because this this came up in trading the other day, right? We had somebody ask about a trading account and they're like, well, you know, should I go with this brokerage or that brokerage? Because this one charges 65 cents and this other brokerage only charges three cents and whatever. And I'm like, dude, 
Shut the hell up, man. When I started trading, I had to call up a friggin' broker, place the trade over the phone, and pay $25 for every trade I placed. And I was happy that that's all I had to pay because it was either that or get a terminal that you had to pay like $2,000 a month to lease, to lease, right? So, I mean, paying 65 cents and you're whining about it? Man, if you can't be profitable paying a 65 cent fee, then you don't know what the hell you're doing and you're better off not trading. Just please put your money in the in JP Morgan and collect 0.015% a year interest on your checking. It's powerful that 0.015 interest, Jonathan. I mean, that will that will make a difference. You might be able to pay for a stamp by the end of the year, maybe. Cup of right. coffee after a decade, yeah. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? So, you know, the thing of it is, like, it cheap is as cheap does. You know, I got to go all Forrest Gump on people here. Stupid is as stupid does. Well, cheap is as cheap does. And... The cheaper things are, the less value, attention, and effort you pay to them. So I would argue that email is actually exceptionally cheap right now. The cost per email, go through and calculate how many emails you send in a month and divide that out. And I bet it's a hell of a lot cheaper than send in a letter in the mail that costs you 50 cents in postage, plus the time to hand write it, plus the paper and the envelope and all of that. You're probably looking at just a dollar in hard expenses, plus the soft expenses of time. And I can tell you as somebody that, you know, hand signs all of the books that I sell and hand signs, thank you letters for everybody that joins into my program. Like I, I know the cost of sitting down and writing a letter. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. And so when people come to me and whine about the price of email, I got to tell you, I just want to, you know, go Ozzy Osbourne on them and tell them to bark at the friggin' moon, right? Just bark at the moon, baby. Because go try to do it some other way. Email is the cheapest thing on the planet for communication. And it's also the most effective if you put it to work properly and spend the time just like a karate student, as we talked about in the previous episodes, spend the time and do the iterations and progress through the belts until you work towards that black belt. If you do that, you'll be able to print money on demand with email in your business. And there is no sexier skill that I know on the planet than to be able to send an email and get paid. And that doesn't just happen overnight, right? And so I think people should, you know, stop whining and and literally realize how blessed they are at how affordable and inexpensive email is. And let me tell you something else, Jonathan, it's only going to get much more expensive. So you better damn well get good at it now. Because if you can't make it work in your business now, in five years, you're going to be hopeless. And I'm being real with you. Okay, email is only getting more expensive. I know multiple platform competitors of ours that have raised 40 and 50% their costs. And they didn't do it on new customers. They did it on their existing customer base. They went to every single customer and raised it 40%. I have one customer on a platform that sends out high volume, sends out about 3 million emails a month. And they... <laughs> Their price went up about 240%. And oh, my goodness. That'll put you out of business. Exactly. So they were spending already spending like a couple grand a month. And all of a sudden now they're spending like, you know, almost five grand a month. It's only going to get more expensive. So anybody that's whining about the cost of email platforms or the cost of sending an email should just fold up shop now and save themselves a lot of effort because now is when you should be grateful that you can get in and learn it on the cheap because really that's what it is. It's a skill that might take you a couple years to get master. It might take you a couple months. Everybody's a little different. It may be one that you never master, but I can tell you this, it's never going to get more affordable to learn it than today. But I mean, realistically, Troy, isn't it only expensive if you're not actually making money? 
I mean, well, these yeah, people are so thing. busy thinking about that, that they're not making money. And I see that all the time, especially in new business owners or even like the trading. I ignore those messages when I see them. It costs this, it costs that. Are you looking at the big picture? Are you looking at, at, at what you're trying to achieve? Or are you stuck over here on zero? I think that's a mindset thing. It, it, people just don't realize that. I mean, I did a promotion not too long ago, and this is not an attempt to promote it here on the podcast because the program's closed. But I did a promotion for a shark club in my trading, and I only opened it up for 25 people. And it was a $3,700 offer with a $2,000 upsell. So it's a $5,700 offer. What's the cost of email for that? Right. I filled out. You know, I'm not going to go into the math with you, but I filled up the program, sold all 25 spots. And you did it in like, what, a week? Because it was a short promo. Yeah. Yeah, we did it in a very short promo. About four or five days, yeah. <laughs> and so the point is, why? Well, because we get results, right? So people are eager to continue it, right? But the the point is, why does email, you know, seem expensive, well, because either you don't have something that works, you're no good at selling it, or you're no good at getting people results. Because if you can get people results, you can charge more. And the cost of email is ridiculously cheap. I can make a point for paying for my trading company. I can easily make a valid case statement and say that I should pay 5000 a month for my email. And it would still be well worth it. And you know, if you can't afford to pay for your email now... Like I said, man, you should just you should just stop, just stop. And I'm not saying this to be disparaging. I'm not saying it to troll you. I'm saying it to save you money. Just get a job. You know, do don't don't try to be an entrepreneur if you can't afford the cost of email. You have no business being in business. You need to just go work for someone else, and that's okay. There's not you know there's a lot of people that have jobs in this world. There's nothing that's not a failing, and I'm not you know trolling you for that. I think that the first sign of intelligence is to admit your own ignorance. And if you are just throwing money away and you're not getting anywhere, then maybe you should stop throwing your money away on this and stop throwing your money away at being an entrepreneur if it's just not working for you and acknowledge that you'd be better off making money at as an employee somewhere instead. And that's that's perfectly fine. I, I have no judgment on that whatsoever. But I would rather see you do that than just throw money away with a delusional mindset that, you know, that that email should be cheap and it should be freer and everything should work so easily for you. No, that's not what entrepreneurialism is about. That's not what it's about. Maybe you should go read the studies on and and the history about Elon Musk and the guy making billions and then doubling down with all of his money right back in and opening up multiple companies and going in debt to do it. It's not easy. It's not easy. I like to tell uh, tell people if it was easy, women and children would do it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get such a good reaction from my my wife or my son, though. <laughs> there you go, man. There you go. All right. So why why is email so cheap? No, why is email so expensive? But you've turned it around to why is email so cheap? Uh, people pay and they pay attention. Cheap is as cheap does. And the other note I have here is first sign of intelligence is knowing that you know nothing. I like that. Yeah. I mean, how can, if you don't know yourself then how can you possibly make improvement? You have to know where you are at and you have to be able to set your ego aside and honestly look in the mirror and say, okay, this is where I'm at. You know, if you're going to go work out and change your physique and your body, well, you better take your shirt off and stand in the mirror and take a picture and be willing to objectively say, yeah, I need some work. Mm. I like the part about taking the ego out of it. So, yeah, I mean, uh, anything else you want to say as we're wrapping this one up? No, I think that's it. We're going to come back in the next episode. We're going to go into the broken mug email effect. And this is a fun one. So I particularly like it because it's very effective use of your time. So All right, that's what we're covering that. next time. All right. Thank you, Troy. Thank you listeners for tuning in another go berserk with email show is in the can we will be back in your earbuds next time to get a free berserker mail test drive with no credit card required go to startmytestdrive.com from there you can play around inside the platform without pressure 
Load up emails and campaigns to see how simple the interface is and get comfy with everything before deciding to join. That's startmytestdrive.com. This is the podcastfactory.com.